My name's uh, Andreas Floto. I'm uh, currently Professor of Respiratory Biology at the University of Cambridge. We're really focused on understanding uh, more about this new uh, bacteria known as Mycobacterium obsessus, which is becoming a really major threat to people with cystic fibrosis around the world. The problem is that this is a multidrug resistant bug, it's really hard to treat, and it causes accelerated damage uh, to the lungs. And so we've been focusing on understanding two related problems. The first is how this bug is spread from person to person. Uh, we've realised that this is a major route of acquisition of this bug. And the second is to understand how best uh, to kill it. That's to say, uh, to develop new therapies uh, to better treat people with this uh, infection. Uh, my name is Matthew Lodge. Uh, I have cystic fibrosis and I've been on the transplant list for almost three years. Knowing that an um, abscess is out there, um, it's just, we've got so much on our minds as it is, it, we can do with one less thing. Um, uh, especially something that would affect me personally so much of coming off the transplant list. We've got uh, the capacity now to bring in experts uh, from around the world uh, to really focus all of their expertise uh, on this problem. We have, for example, individuals specialised in developing drugs uh, to target specific proteins within mycobacteria. Um, we have experts in animal modelling of this infection and of how to genetically manipulate uh, the bug. Uh, our expertise in this lab it is really centred on understanding how this bug interacts with the human immune system. So if I was going to come off the transplant list um, and already waiting so long, um, it just, the thought of having those lungs possibly come available and being able to miss my chance, um, because there is such a shortage of lungs and just transplantable organs, um, you need basically every opportunity you can get to um, be able to have the operation. And we're pretty confident that we'll be able to solve uh, the question about how this bug is transmitted, uh, how it causes disease, uh, and perhaps most importantly, uh, how best to treat it. So that's the first step, and following on from that, we'll be able to develop uh, new therapies to treat this disease. So all this treatment and all this research is so valuable, but unfortunately it comes at a cost and it needs uh, donations from the public to just allow all this good work to carry on. Uh, the more money we can put in, the more research we can do, the better people can get.